Coming to you from Farmer Dave's headquarters in Drake, Massachusetts, I'm Cassie. And I'm Stacy. And we're here to help you prepare, prepare your share. Something else that you'll be seeing in your CSA share is the purple top turnip. They can be boiled, mashed, pickled, added to soup, roasted or braised with other vegetables or alone. As far as prep on the turnip, after you give them a good scrub, you want to go in and cut off the green stems. So go in with a very sharp knife and cut the tops right off. Then you're going to trim the bottom and that's going to stabilize it for you to be able to peel it. The different ways you could peel it are using a knife or on smaller ones like these, the vegetable peeler works quite well. I'm going to go right in. Take off your peel Then once it's completely peeled, you're going to go in and you're going to plank it or cut it into chunks. If you'd like prepped turnip, then you want to cut it into one inch cubes, blanch it, lay it out on paper towels to dry it off, and then put it into freezer bags. Your blanching time for one inch cubes is going to be two minutes. For long term storage, if you don't want to have to cut up your turnip, you can just cut the greens off, fill a shallow bowl with water, and put the turnip into the bowl of water into the refrigerator. It will store that way for a very long amount of time. The greens will start to grow at the top. Just snip them off. That will make sure that the turnip stays nice and firm and be ready to use anytime. If you don't have the space in your refrigerator for a bowl like this, you can store the turnips in a single layer not washed in an area that is dark that has good ventilation. A recipe that uses turnips that's quite easy to do is braised turnips. You're going to take your turnips, peel them, and cut them into one inch cubes. You're also going to take an onion and you're going to dice it fairly small. You're going to heat up a Dutch oven with some olive oil, add your onion, begin to caramelize the onion, then add your turnip. You're then going to add your seasonings. A little bit of red pepper flake, a little bit of salt, some black pepper. You're going to cook the turnips for about five minutes, just until they soften a little bit. Then you're going to cover with chicken or vegetable stock, just to cover them up. And this is what it's going to look like. Adding just enough to cover, just like that. From here, you're going to continue cooking for about 25-30 minutes, until they are softened and they start to become a beautiful color. When you're done cooking it, it's going to look like this, a beautiful brown caramelized coloring to it and it's going to smell amazing. And that's a wrap. 